on the menu today I have a lid in my own battery that needs some TLC this is a Clark lid in my own part numbers blah 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 18 volts 2 amp hours first I'll do a voltage check 4.1 volts mm. it's not well is it now we don't have a charger for this but you can imagine if you offered this up to a charger it would reject it straight away being on 4 volts and people just bring us batteries with no chargers to test them on later and we have that well known brand High star batteries, 3.7, 2,000 milliamp hours. One plus point with this is that there's no electronics in this at all. That's just a connection plate on the back. So all the intelligence will be in the charger and or the drill. Now this has balance wires going to each cell, so it's balanced by the charger. Quick look at voltage, probably irrelevant, but 2.2, 2.3, 2.4. to bother trying to recover anything that's gone that low so I do have some new cells to put in it I've started to try and lever these uh, these tabs off but it just makes a mess and it's horrible and so I'm going to attempt to drill them So forgive the wobbly photography I'm going handheld here. Piece of wood underneath. Nice insulator. And a small drill. Madness shot. So you can drill through these positives. That's no problem because that's um, positive cap is stood up from the battery. And just a little bit on these. Not so deep as to re release the vapour. <laughs> the magic fluid. Let's see if I can show you getting these because I've, I've drilled this off the negative. See how. See how easily, oops, see how easily it comes off. I'm being drilled. And a nice, tidy, flat strip. All of these released from the cells. Much less damage. You can straighten these out. Same goes for that side. Nice and straight. And all without releasing much of that lithium devil. And I think it's this end one that I punched a hole into or drilled into. No major dramas. No fire. No explosion. No need for a pie containment dish. It is a battery after all, it's not a nuclear warhead. And if anyone's interested, I used a 1 16th inch drill on these, or 1.5 millimeters in new money. I'm going to 
going to be replacing the stalls with these. Sean focused. So, INS 18650 Samson 25R. Now these are high discharge cells, 20 amp each. Never use any laptop cells or used cells. <laughs> so I'm going to do a voltage test on five of these. 48, All the same as you'd expect with new cells. These original strips, they are 8 thou thick or 0.2 millimeters. I possibly could weld them, but I don't know what material they are. I don't know if they're um, nickel plated copper or um, ordinary nickel strip. I'm not going to break out the welder to do these, I'm going to solder them. So apply some solder top and bottom to each of those. That's all the strips tinned. Let's do the same to the cells. Let's see if these readily take solder or not. not too bad. Some of them you need to scrape the surface of. It's okay. Four more. I put some paper caps on these as well on the positive side. I'll assemble that. That's the assembly and the soldering done. I had to file a bit off the ends of these. Now you know why people weld them. It takes far too long to solder. But it's okay. For a one-off job, it's okay. Uh, 17.5 volts, 75 volts. I need to make sure that it charges before I put it back together. This is a boost converter set on, what is it, on 20 volts. The original charger will be about 21 and about 1 amp. Just for a few seconds, there's no balancing in this pack, so just make sure that it accepts the charge. It's increasing, that's fine. That's good enough. That's it back together with some pushing and prodding and bringing the two halves together. Maybe these new cells are slightly longer, but that's fine. Let's do a voltage test. Seventeen point four eight volts. I'll send that back to the customer and hope it charges in his original charger. So from my point of view, jobs are good then. I haven't seen any of these Clark batteries on YouTube, so I thought I'd do one. Here you go. been useful in any way give me thumbs down thumbs up hate it whatever leave a comment just don't forget the kebab <laughs>